I'm afraid, Watson, that I shall have to go, said Holmes, as we sat down together to our breakfast one morning. Go? Where to? To Dartmoor, to King's Pyland. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. What's happening? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I paint a thoroughbred horse portrait in oils. I will also be sharing with you my top tips for creating an engaging and believable wildlife portrait. So, with that said, I'm going to finish up this really long book. Roll that intro. Begin knocking out the scene working with a standard 2B pencil, and it is really important while painting wildlife is to get a fairly accurate drawing in the initial stages before moving on into the painting. And I'm using Windsor Newton oils for this demo, and the colors I'm using are titanium white, Naples yellow, cadmium yellow deep, burnt sienna, burnt umber, ultramarine blue, dioxazine violet, and permanent sap green. I loosely lay down the paint with a filbert brush with a mixture of titanium white, Naples yellow, and permanent sap green with a little bit of burnt umber around the edges. And now it is really important while working with depth to start from the background into the foreground and that helps balance out the tones and colors of when you move into the portrait. I introduce a little bit more warm colors by adding some burnt sienna into the mix. I just soften this out with a filbert brush. Begin laying down the color on the horse's face with a mixture of titanium white and Naples yellow. Now it's really important in the beginning stages not to reach the top of our tonal range, so this is mostly Naples yellow with a little bit of titanium white. I get in some burnt umber in these shadowed areas and I'm just trying to establish the color, tone, and light. And I don't want to worry too much at all about detail right now. Now my absolute favorite brush to use is the Ivory Dagger from Rosemary & Co. And that link is in the description below. The reason why I love this brush so much is you can, it's such a versatile brush. You can make a fine line with it and you can also cover a large amount of surface area quite quickly. Now that I have finished blocking in, I begin with modeling, and I use the tip of that ivory dagger to introduce some smaller details. I've also introduced yellow ochre onto my palette as I felt that could, that could warm up some of these mid-tone areas. Slowly but surely, I start adding these smaller details one step at a time. And as a matter of fact, these larger ivory daggers work extremely well with painting each individual hair. So these come out a little thick, so I just come back and touch them up later on. I add some of these strong highlights at the top of the mane here, with a mixture of titanium white, Naples yellow, and burnt sienna. I knock out some of this mane on the other side of the horse's neck. And as I reach, as I get closer to the end of the process, I introduce more titanium white to really get to the top of that tonal range as I'm starting to go into the detail stage. I start rounding out this high as I felt it was a little too small. And I also add this highlight here with a mixture of ultramarine blue and titanium white. Just to round it out a little bit more, I add some burnt sienna and titanium white to add a little bit more color to that eye. I start adding more detail to his muzzle here by adding some sharper lines in the wrinkles. I add titanium white and dioxazine violet for these sharp highlights with a little bit of ultramarine blue. 
And there is times where the bristles actually splay apart, and sometimes that works in my favor because it creates uh, two different lines of hairs instead of one. Now there is this distracting line underneath the chin here, so I just start blending that together with a little bit of burnt sienna. I'm at the very end of the process, so I mix mostly titanium white with a little bit of violet for those final highlights on the muzzle. And I get rid of any distracting areas within the face to make sure there isn't any clumps of paint. And with one more final highlight above the eye, the painting is finally complete. Well that about wraps it up folks, thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button, and I have loads more videos just like this one coming your way, so be sure to subscribe to this channel. You can also find me on Instagram at Cody Oldham Fine Art, but most importantly, head on over to my website at CodyOldham.com. I look forward to seeing you over there, and pick up that coffee table book you got over there. You might get into it. <laughs>